Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about eight total points on why you should pursue a PhD in France. Basically, what are the advantages? Among those eight points, the fifth and the seventh point are the most important. If you don't watch any points, please go ahead and watch the fifth one to get the maximum out of this video. With that said, let's start the intro. So in France, PhD is usually for three years, but you can extend it up to four years. This is an advantage because usually in countries like India, USA, the PhD duration is often uh, pretty longer than this. So that is the first point. The next point is about salary. In France, the salary is very good. You get around 1500 euros per month in your hand at the end of the month and there is no tax deducted from that one. On top of that, you also get social security, which are an added advantage definitely. Even with this kind of money, you can easily save 300 to 600 euros per month, depending on where you live. For, for example, if you live in Paris, it will be in the lesser side. In France, PhD candidates are an employee to the university. So you also get the benefits such as five week of a paid vacation throughout the year. The university pays 50% of your travel expenses as well as your health insurance. So those are also very good perks. Coming to our fourth point, the good thing is in France, when you do a PhD, there is no examination. When I say this, I mean that there won't be any test where you will be timed and you have to score some amount of uh, marks to pass next phase. Usually you have 120 hours of coursework you have to do throughout the three years. And of course, for, for this coursework, there is no examination as such. But what happens after every year, there is a committee formed which evaluates how your year went, how did you do. It is mostly to see that if you are and your supervisor are comfortable working together, how is the project going and whether there is some changes required. Maybe if you are not uh, getting along with your supervisor, then you, you there is a chance that they will change your supervisor. So it is an external committee who basically evaluates how your PhD is going. So that's it. That's uh, in the name of examination. Coming to our fifth point, it is very important and it is about jobs for PhD holders. So after you do a PhD, as I showed in my previous video, that you are not more valuable than a master's degree student to a company. So what the French government does, it they in incentivize the enterprises to hire more PhD and put them into research and development work. So what happens when people, when the enterprise put the uh, newly graduated PhD student in the R&D work, they get a uh, tax rebate. The tax rebate is usually the same amount as the salary of the PhD candidate who is working in R&D in your enterprise. So this basically incentivizes them to recruit more PhD. And in the long term, what it does, it strengthens the uh, research and development of the entire country. This whole program is called CIR, Credit Impo Research. I'll put a link to that in the description. Next, for the university, you have to pay 380 euros per year for as a registration fee. But with that, registration fee, you can take advantage of various activities offered by the university, such as classes for singing, swimming, dancing, and whatnot. I personally choose to take up uh, salsa classes during my first year. Well, I was not good at it, but it was a fun event to do. And all these courses are taught by professionals in a class-wise basis. Coming to the seventh point, it is about the PhD candidates who want to create a startup out of their PhD thesis. So for example, if you get any idea during your PhD uh, work, there are startup incubators present in many of the labs throughout the France. So if you pitch your uh, startup idea to them, there will be multiple rounds of uh, discussions, uh, meetups and presentation to see that whether your startup idea is viable or not. If they find it viable, they will give you a seed money of 10,000 euro for the entire year 
and on top of that they will give you a constant salary per month of around 2300 euros this system is present only for phd or post doctoral students who did their studies in france coming to our final point it was it is about international mobility so for example if you are studying in a university in france you will have multiple opportunities to collaborate with other laboratories especially in the european union where you can go and work for a couple of months even for six months uh, share your research share your ideas peer uh, publish papers together so this will add to your, your international experience there are also summer trainings which i personally did i went to spain for eight days for a summer school it was a great experience you'll also get a chance to take part in many international conferences where you will meet the scientists who are at the top of your field. It can be inspiring for so many people. So that was it for this video. If you want to connect me for one on one consultation, don't forget to check the top mid link given in the description. If you want to know about six reasons why you should not do a PhD in France, you should check out this video. Till next time, stay curious and cheers.